Hi guys, I'm Mark Crypto. Welcome to yet another video. Today I'm going to be adding a proxy to the game. So, to be honest, to begin with, we're going to say what a proxy is. So, there's two types of proxy: a client proxy and a common proxy. Uh, client proxy is like the display, and the code sends data to the screen. The common proxy is the common proxy sends data to the client proxy, like a server. When you go on Minecraft, it's just sending packets of data to you, so you know what's going on. And we use this to register the render of items, blocks, and also for tile entities, etc. So, if let's just add it to the game. So, the first thing you want to do is go to here, click New Package, and do Add Proxy. Hit Enter. Then, in the proxy, we're going to have two new classes. So, you've got the Common Proxy, and we also have the client proxy now the client proxy is going to be an instance of the common proxy so do extends common proxy and you can just save that and now I'm just going to make a method in here and it's a public void register renders and if you just do this and then save that then go into here press control space and it should. That's oh, not as much. Press Control Space and register renders. So you can delete these two lines of code and. Oops. That bit. Um. So now you've got that there. That will be used in the next tutorial. So you want to go back over to here. Actually, reference. So you want to create two new strings. So it's a public static final. On a string, and it's going to be a uh, server underscore proxy underscore class. So, this is going to be linked to the class, and that's going to be blank for now. You have to copy that, paste this, and put it, put it as client. And now we want to do pack, so package. So, this is here, so we can just copy this from here. Then, if we do dot on the end, and now this is the client one, so it's client proxy. And then this is the common one, so this is common proxy. Now you can save this. Now go into here and then do at sided proxy. Open up your brackets, and then inside you have server side, and that's equal to reference dot server proxy class and you have client side so you could do reference dot client proxy class and underneath here you need a public static common proxy and you're going to call it proxy and then just import this also underneath this this is going to be used for tile entities you want an at mod dot instance and then in brackets you want to put the name so I'm putting BOE for a bit of everything then you want another public static then you want to do a bit of everything and this is our instance so now we can go proxy dot now we can register the renders so this will register the renders there's nothing in there now but that is all the proxy stuff for now. So for now, so I want to go into is mcmod.info. And this won't be the same as what you've got because I accidentally edited it. So just fill it in. So mod ID. This will be your mod ID. As is boe. The name. This is the name that you put in reference. So bit of everything. Description. This can be whatever you want. Add a lot of things. Um, version is 1.0. Minecraft version is 1.8. URL is the website. So my website. Uh, author list. This is me. So see so doing Minecraft. Um, credits. Um, awesome subscribers. 
then that's all you need to fill in so you can run this and you won't see any difference at all but it would have worked so just wait for this to boot up and yeah just wait okay so it is loaded so you can just load up the world from last week or last tutorial I don't know why I said last week and everything should be fine you shouldn't get any errors and hold on did I uh okay so this actually says that the connection is made with the server side so this is a common proxy so it did work and just this error is just like looking at the profile because like it, you will always get this error because there'll be no profile but everything will work as they did last week and that's all we need to do so see you in the next video